Hi there, hope you're having a good day, and I'm back with another All-Star Weekend special. Uh, well, they sort of made it an All-Star colorway last year. At uh, this time, the amazing collab is back again around the same time of the year. And this is the Puma Rick and Morty MB2. These guys go for 140 US dollars or 160 dollars if you're also here in Canada. Uh, the MB2 in general is a lot easier to get compared to the first version. You can say that they're sitting or not as popular, while the first ever signature shoes usually end up being the ones that increase in value or resale price. Uh, the MB1 Rick and Morty prices have kind of gone through the roof. I think it's only better that they're easier to cop. And if you're also just genuinely passionate about the sneaker itself, Let's get right into some details on this nice mismatching colorway. They come in a special Rick and Morty themed box, a black color base with stars scattered on there. It also has Lamello's Now From Here slogan, signature logo, and Puma branding. This big Puma logo with the Rick and Morty face graphics on the back end of the box looks really cool to me. On the first look, we got a mismatching colorway once again, but this time it's more of a mixture of different colors. The right shoe has a neon yellow base with a hot pink color on the heel, tongue, and laces. There's a nice color fade transitioning from pink to yellow on the lateral side. More Rick and Morty graphics on the tongue tag, in front of the laces, on the interior of the tongue, also printed on the insoles. And the upper material feels a little bit different too. The plastic fusing surrounding the toe box, I'm not a big fan of it. The shiny glitters on the side panels and the stiffer feeling in hand are also things to note compared to other colorways of the MB2. The left shoe has a green color base with purple being the other color. Uh, personally, I like this green and purple one better. The also is translucent in green and yellow with the signature rare inside. Same traction performance I can tell you now and dust pickup is still kind of annoying. Puma has put a lot of efforts and great attention to detail on Lamella Ball signature shoes and this time the design and color choices did not disappoint in my opinion. I want to point out that there is a small difference with how this version feels on feet. Um, the material is more plasticky. It feels harder around the mud guard or toe box views. And movements of your feet on the cord are not as smooth as the other colorways from my experience. I like the first red ones and the slime. So kind of unfortunate, but it didn't bother me too much. Just a tiny issue to know if you're planning to head straight onto the court with these. The MB2 is a nice all-around shoe in terms of performance, but for the sake of this video, we're not gonna go over all the different aspects all over again. Uh, I'll leave a link to my video on the MB2 itself on the top right corner. And they've also been in a few of my top lists for 2022 as well. True to size fit, excellent impact protection, slightly reduced weight compared to the first version. Good traction, but dust pickup remains to be an issue. So just keep that in mind. That's about it for this video on the Rick and Morty Puma MB2. Uh, do you like this year's version better or last year's red and green version better? Let me know in the comments. I personally really like the mismatching colorways that brands are offering these days. A little something different and can really pop on the court. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.